Hello and welcome to Ask Pogue. This week, Maureen asks, Dear Mr. Pogue, can you help me understand why some of my apps are asking to have access to so much information on my Android phone? For example, when I install the Weather Channel app, it wants access to all of the following. Device and call information allows the app to determine the phone number, device ID, whether a call is active, and the remote number connected by a call. Wi-Fi information allows the app to view information about Wi-Fi networking, such as whether Wi-Fi is enabled, and the names of the connected Wi-Fi devices. I cannot imagine why my apps need all this information, especially not the Weather Channel app. I'm about to uninstall this, along with many of the other apps, unless I can get some professional insight into why they may be asking for this information. Well, Maureen, you're right. It certainly does sound evil. It sounds like those apps are trying to spy on you. But here's the thing. The permission screen for all Android apps sound that way. Just recently, Facebook's new Messenger app ran into similar customer anger. When you install that app, it asks you for permission to access your entire address book, send text messages, record videos, know your location at all times, and access the internet when it wants. Scary, right? Well, no. Incompetence on Google's part, but not really scary. See, when you write an Android app, Google requires that you declare which parts of the phone your app might someday want access to. And Google requires that you use Google's wording for these permissions. So the Facebook Messenger app had to say, has access to your phone, when what Facebook would have preferred to say is, when you try to place a call from our app. Or Facebook had to say, has access to your camera, when what Facebook really wanted to say was, when you try to take a picture to send to a friend. I wrote to the Weather Channel to ask about their app, and they told me the same kind of thing. Why does it require this permission? so that the app can pop up severe weather alerts on your screen. Why does it require this permission? Because Android phones use Wi-Fi to help determine your position, and a weather app needs to know where you are so it can tell you what forecast to show you. The internet was right to freak out about the wording of these permissions, but the fault is not Facebook's or the weather channels. It's Google's for writing these sweeping, overdramatic, scary permissions messages. It would be better if the Android phone worked like the iPhone, where you're not asked for permission until the moment when you try to use the microphone or the camera. But Google is getting the message, Maureen. Since you emailed me and since all that Facebook Messenger brouhaha, Google has revamped the way Android permissions look. Now they look more like this. So you see, Maureen, you don't have to worry about the Weather Channel spying on you. It's Google you have to worry about.